Hi, welcome to A Brush With Art. I'm Sarah Rellis, the co-host of a new show that gives you the opportunity to learn about collectible fine art and even purchase it from your own home. And I'm Marisol Miller-Wave, and I will also be here with you on A Brush With Art each and every week, where we will discuss and explore two different pieces of art from two different artists in each half-hour segment. With the support of Tom Berger, Seaside Gallery's owner, we will gain knowledge of and appreciation for different styles, techniques, and emotional themes that come together to create beauty and value in contemporary art. This should be an exciting TV show for you, our viewers. As you recall, we present two pieces each week, and we give you the price of those pieces at the top of the show. Then, with the help of the artist, we go over why the pieces would be such a great addition to your art collection. Then the viewers can submit their purchase request at any time, 24-7, before the next show. At the end of the week, we will do a blind draw to determine who the lucky collector will be. Take a look right now at a brief sample of A Brush With Art. Welcome to A Brush With Art. Hi, I'm Sarah Rellis. I'm here with Tom Berger, the owner of Seaside Gallery in Pismo Beach. And today we're going to be discussing Path to My Old Country Town by Leon Oaks. Tom, this painting is amazing. What is it that appeals to you about this, this painting, Sarah? Well, I think the things that I love the most are the brushwork. I don't know if you can see that on the screen, but also the shapes and the colors that he's used. I love how the muted greens play off the brighter reds, and there's even some amazing purples that really pop in the top section of the painting. You know, what catches my eye is the way the path leads your eye into the center of the painting and, and, and takes you into the painting, but doesn't let you out of it again. It's so true, Tom. It's almost as if you're entering into your old hometown or somewhere where you've traveled, a place where you remember in your past. Artists are fortunate to have ability and talent to both. Ability to visualize art and talent to create and bring beauty to the world. Often people commenting that my style and technique are easy recognizable. They asking me how I develop my own style. My response to this question is simple. Just be yourself. Hello and welcome to A Brush With Art. I'm Marisol Miller-Wave and I am here with Tom Berger, owner of Seaside Gallery here in Pismo Beach. And we are looking at, uh, for this segment, a piece by George Gallo titled Stream, an impressionistic piece. Um, now, when I look at this piece, we were just talking on the break about how, you know, what makes the difference between impressionistic and expressionistic work. And this is impressionistic because you can't necessarily tell what exactly the painting is about when you look at it from, you know, different angles or different ways. But I get very clearly there's a lot of movement in this piece. It's kind of a, there's a, a wild nature to it. Absolutely. So the artist, uh, George Gallo here, this is oil on panel. He's painting a, a stream bed in the fall, and this is his impression of, of the branches and the colors and, and the sky and how all of this merges together to form an image. Mm -hmm. Look at these colors. I mean, uh, they're fantastic. We also invite our viewers to ask us any questions about the art that we cover on the show or just art in general and submit them to Seaside Gallery's Facebook page. I'm Sarah. And I'm Marisol. We look forward to having you join us each and every week on... A brush with art. Businesses interested in sponsoring or becoming a part of this exciting new production, A Brush with Art, please contact Noble Productions at 805-260-4766.